George Harrison called him the godfather of world music. Ravi Shankar introduced the sitar to the Western world. Although he was a musical icon in India, many had never heard of him or the unique instrument he played until they saw him play it in the 1960s with the Beatles. Well, Shankar died yesterday at the age of 92. As our Washington bureau chief Eric Sorensen reports, his legacy is sure to live on. If this sound is familiar at all, you can probably thank Ravi Shankar. Shankar brought India's unique musical culture to the era of rock and roll. It might never have happened had Shankar not inspired one musical group in particular. At the peak of their stardom, the Beatles, especially George Harrison, were drawn to Shankar and Eastern spiritualism. Ravi taught George to play sitar. I was immediately charmed and attracted to George and uh, because of his sincerity and he really wanted to know so much about our music. Shankar arrived in North America about the same time as the music drug culture emerged that he was sorry to be associated with. Playing guitar for hours, stoned. Forty years ago, he conceived of a concert to bring attention to refugees in Bangladesh. Really, it was Ravi Shankar's idea. He wanted to do this. It was the very first of the benefit mega concerts that brought music legends together for a cause. For decades, Ravi Shankar collaborated with musicians around the world. His legacy carried forward by two daughters, Anushka, also accomplished on sitar, and Nora Jones, a top jazz pop performer. Revered in his native India, today Shankar's death was mourned. It is a time for all of us to give thanks and to be grateful that we were able to have him as part of our lives. Ravi Shankar introduced the sitar to popular music and through his music spread Indian culture to the world. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Washington.